Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Police Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. This video is about Saturn and Moon conjunction. So if you have Saturn and Moon conjunction in your horoscope, stay tuned till the end of the video to understand what this conjunction is all about, how is this conjunction affecting your life and what this conjunction really means. But before that, please subscribe this channel. Do not forget to subscribe because it's the subscription that keeps you and me stay connected. So subscribe and stay connected and do not forget to like this video, like the video here if you like what the content is. Coming to the Saturn and Moon conjunction. Saturn is a planet of restriction. Saturn is a planet of execution. Saturn is a planet who wants to work and work without the effect of your own will. So Saturn is a planet who wants to give you what you deserve, either it be, be it good or be it bad. And Saturn also believes in the law of law of karma. So if your karma is good, Saturn will give you good. If your karma is bad, Saturn is going to give you bad results. Saturn is the judge, the chief judge, the chief justice. He is the ruler of justice and he is going to give all possible benefits or losses to a person depending upon its placement, nakshatra placement and bhava placement in a horoscope. Whereas moon is a soft planet. Moon is a planet of motherly nature. Moon represents mother. Moon represents emotion. Moon represents how you will perceive your identity, how beautiful you will perceive of yourself, how you will perceive this world, how emotionally connected you will be with everybody, how people around you will be emotionally connected with you. So moon is all about emotions. Moon is also nourishment. So it also deals with food. It also deals with your mind, psychology and your reaction and behavior, behavioral patterns. When this soft planet moon sits with a very harsh planet Saturn, so you know it's kind of a, a very uncomfortable position for moon. Nobody wants to re see the reality actually. We all want to be in our own utopian world thinking the imaginary life that we want to live. Nobody wants to come down to the plane of reality and understand, oh, I cannot achieve that because Saturn questions your limits. Because Saturn is also about limits, being in limit, being disciplined, executing things in order, not crossing the boundary. And that is why you see a Saturn ring is there that represents the boundary itself. Now Moon who wants to run here and there because it's our man, our mind who wander here and there. It's all about emotions. We think a lot, ideas, imagination. All this comes from Moon. Saturn puts a limit there. Moon becomes uncomfortable. So if a person who has a Saturn and Moon combination, his mind will be very limited to a few area and he will be more focused towards certain areas rather than being imaginative or creative. So this makes a person less creative but very much practical. Saturn is the planet of practicality. He wants to teach you things through experience. So the person who has a Saturn moon combination learns through experience. You cannot ask this person that, hey, can you explain life through words? He won't be able to because he, don't, he won't understand things unless he really experiences it. Because Saturn is like that limit which covers your emotional boundary, which, which creates an emotional boundary which you will not be able to cross. So this also shows very less expressive behavior. This shows that if you're in a relationship and you have a Saturn moon combination, you will find yourself in an awkward position where you will be not able to express yourself perfectly. Maybe you will express it through your actions and, and maybe the expression through words is very less. So if you have this combination, you need to express it more and tr at least try to express it more. And if not, use your actions, use your uh, care and nourishment attitude or motherly attitude, the, the affection, the love without getting anything in return, without the hope of getting anything in return. This is the task that Saturn has given upon you by the combination of Saturn and Moon. We also know that Moon is a reflector. Moon does not have a light of its own. Although Moon is a luminary, but it is the second brightest object in the sky after Sun. So Saturn, which is the farthest planet, which receives the very less sunlight, brings upon a very dim darkness, or sorry, dim light upon the moon, which creates a kind of a shadowy effect. No, it's not Rahu effect, 
but it's a saturnian effect on moon which makes a person very much strong because saturn matures at the age of around 35 36 so till that age the person will experience a lot of turbulence in life depending upon the position of moon saturn this will vary one may not feel also but generally it is it has been seen saturn and moon combination generally gives turbulent childhood this also shows that mother may not have given that much affection to you due to any reason maybe she was working hard and or you may you may have lost your mother at a very early age and because of this you lack that motherly emotion motherly love now the point here is that such people are initially initially very emotional but gradually as the life progresses they face challenges which makes them rough and tough especially emotionally they are the most strongest people from their mind and they can achieve their achieve the task like anything because if someone is strong from the mind you cannot shake the person by any circumstance that person can win almost anything but again the catch is here is saturn and moon combination will not let the person go out of certain boundary so this also makes a person very rigid rude fixed and stubborn if you take care of all these negative aspects of saturn and moon you will find yourself to the, to be in a position where you can achieve most of the things with practical attitude you will be able to execute things and not procrastinate such as rahu moon combination does not allow you to act but makes you think this does not make you think but allows you to act so saturn gives that particular arena saturn do not let you explore a lot of things but it will give you experience one by one contrary to rahu which wants experience or which wants things all at once saturn will promote you to achieve things one by one so if you have a saturn moon combination do not try to jump into action just wait for the right time if you go slow if you achieve things exactly precisely at the exact moment of time when it should be and not when you want you will find this combination being beneficial more than malefic generally astrologers may consider saturn moon combination as a very malefic yoga but it again depends whether rahu aspect or mars aspect is there on this combination and uh, whether this is a malefic maybe saturn and moon is in adra nakshatra so if this saturn and moon for example is in a rahu nakshatra call it swati adra or or, or, or the other satvesha nakshatra what happens is the person becomes so stubborn he will not let his belief go out of the boundary he know so it's like he will say i have experienced this so this is correct i will not take in the knowledge that you want to give i will and i will listen to it and i will apply it i will experiment it so this makes these persons research workers scientists they won't believe into anything but they will try to execute it first see the result if it works out fine if it don't work out they will reject it so it's they are very pretty much scientific and uh, they are also interested in geo geographical things geological things deep mining and also on the darker side for example in movies you can call them as directors because they are behind the scene controlling each and everything and everything is within a particular boundary of the script so more or less you can say that saturn moon combination is more of a scripted life it's not much creative not much expressive not much of an adventure but a calm cool projected pathway in which you have to follow it's like a train smoothing uh, moving ahead in a constant speed not much of a a great aesthetic experience of life but yes if you have a good influence like you have a good venus if moon is exalted this can definitely give you a great life and make you very positive attitude uh, uh, you will have a very strong mentality and you will lead your life with example and you will be an example for others you will be the stronghold of your family you will become the pillar of success in your family but there is one catch here what is the catch let us find out and the catch is guys this saturn and moon combination is going to make you sweat like anything it's going to make you work hard like anything you will find things coming not easily to you you have to really work on things because saturn says saturn gives a command to the moon which is the mind that hey you need to work more work you need to work harder if you want to achieve some certain things that you really want to achieve in your life now what happens is moon is ruled uh, the moon rules water and moon rules all fluid objects inside your body saturn is a very cold planet receives almost very less amount of sunlight saturn isn't is a can you you can say that is it's a big ice ball a giant ice ball when it comes in contact with moon 
it makes it cold so moon gets frozen here so what happens these people have frozen nature frozen emotions now very less reaction or response makes this these kind of people introvert you can you will find you will you won't be able to relate to them much and therefore you can find them rude you can find them stubborn you can find these people not responding to your queries not not talking to you much they are into their own world and they will not let anyone easily go inside their personal life and that is why they marry very late they have late uh, connection with people either or they can marry very pretty early because you know at a very early age moon will be more active than saturn so that marriage will give them experience and understanding of life more the saturn and moon combination keeps makes moon so frozen that if it is in negative uh, rashi or in negative aspects like in some negative nakshatra aspected by some negative planets and other horoscope elements do confirm this then this also shows anti social behavior this also shows that the person can be psychologically in in depression he will always feel melancholy he will always feel sad he will always feel lonely no matter what other people can do it's like in a relationship you can you can say that the partner will always complain that no matter what i do my partner always feels that i'm not doing anything for her nothing is enough for you so if you have this saturn moon combination with a negative aspect you really need to take care of this combination you really need to focus more on this combination because this is going to make you somewhat uh, so much introvert that you will lose connection with the society you will lose connection with people you will always feel alone there will always be a kind of a a lonely place in your heart where no matter how much love is showered on you nothing feels enough because saturn you know is a big planet and moon which is very soft is rubbed against a very hard harsh surface so moon gets bruised so your emotion gets bruised people can misuse you and your emotions and your nature and emotions can be hurt you can be hurt by people you can be hurt in relationships and which actually eventually will make you a very tough person but that is not a good experience to go through so saturn and moon combination can make people anti social and if rahu is also influenced there can go into can go against the law can go against the society can go and challenge the uh, the anti social things and want to be into that negative realm rather than rather than the positive realm this is also seen in case of clinical depression and people with self destructing attitude and if mercury is down and saturn and moon combination is there now please do not panic if you have this this does not applies to every horoscope every horoscope has to be carefully analyzed before you take into things that this is applied to you these videos are very much generic in nature and for your understanding for the overall understanding and please do not take these videos personally because these videos may or may not apply exactly to you it may apply to a person a but it may not apply to person b because there are negative effects for person b so consider these videos as a learning part for astrology so that these videos and these videos gives you more knowledge regarding this conjunction in a more generic way now saturn and moon conjunction if aspected by very negative planets or if a very bad mars is aspecting the person becomes cruel the person becomes uh you know he is very cold person and re reacts in a in a split second and becomes anti social in involves in criminal activities involves in negative activities does not have a clean heart so all this is very rare negative cases of saturn and moon conjunction which is seen but more or less i have seen that saturn and moon conjunction people always complain of a very hard and harsh life because somewhere or the other unless you have a hard and harsh life you won't experience anything and nobody experiences life in an ac room sitting in a, in a cozy bed and enjoying popcorn no you have to get out you have to stand in in in, in under under the bright sun face the sunlight face the heat and then only you will understand how big the world is and that is how saturn and moon combination is it will throw you into the world of practicality it will show you the reality how no matter how harsh it is but this is what it is saturn and moon gives you the real reality of life and by far this is considered to be at least for me one of the best yoga because nothing is better than facing the reality thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please 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 like and subscribe my channel and also my other videos are available jupiter transit already uploaded rahu ketu transit which just happened on 18th of august this month already uploaded 
So now please, please, please like and subscribe, smash your screens and do not forget to visit my website. The link of the website is given below. It's a basic landing page. It will give you more details about this astrology and its universe. Thank you guys. Thank you for subscribing Punis Astrology.